Hello guys, what's up? So today I'm going to talk about some of the fixes to the issues which the game Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is facing. And in this video, we are going to talk about the crashing issue fix one, crashing issue fix two, black screen fix or the performance issue fix, and lastly, an update on the patch update from Kodak's when it will be coming. More about that. So let's start the video. But firstly, some preconditions which you must do. That is, if you have an NVIDIA control panel or an NVIDIA graphics card, to be precise, go to the Manage 3D settings, program settings, select the game and make the following changes to it. Set the power management mode to prefer maximum performance. Set the texture filtering quality to high performance so that your game would get the maximum performance out of your graphics card. And similarly, for AMD users also, they would have a control panel similarly like this. And similarly, for the AMD users, you can set the power management to high and texture filtering quality to high performance. So these are the preconditions which you must do before applying any of the fix shown in this video. Now let's talk about the first issue. And the first issue is the crashing issue. Now players are reporting that they are getting that a memory could not be read error while they are trying to launch the game and they are unable to play the game. And they are getting some kind of coded message that the memory at a 0 into something something at 4 this kind of code they are getting when they are launching the game the error is related to your ram one fix is that open task manager and terminate any process or program that is using a huge chunk of your ram this will resolve the problem hopefully that this will resolve the problem and if the issue persists then the only fix is that you should increase your ram or increase the amount of your virtual memory but this crashing issue due to the memory is happening due to RAM. So my advice is that you should have minimum 12 GB of RAM to run this game like a charm. Now let's move on to the second fix. And this fix is working for most of the users. Now sometimes the game is getting crashed or not loading because a third party monitoring software like MSI Afterburner or GeForce Experience is hampering the game launch, disabling them and crashing the game at the launch. So the, a general fix for this would be to disable the GeForce experience. My advice would be to uninstall GeForce experience. There is no much requirement of GeForce in your system. So uninstall that or disable that to be on the safe side and then launch the game. And hopefully your loading or crashing issue will be fixed. Now also that an important point that whenever you're trying these fixes, make sure you restart your system so that those fixes are applied. Now let's move on to some black screen fix and performance issue fixes now this could basically happen because your directx library is corrupted now in this case what you can do you can update your directx and guarantee your issue would be resolved and you'll be getting good performance in your game and lock the game at 30 fps and the error will never bother you and the black screen or the performance issue or the shuttering issue will never bother you and let me tell you that 30 fps is good frame per second and that would at least help you to play the game without any restriction and frustration to be precise. Now let's move on to some important news about an updated patch from Kodak. Now what is the update? It's coming or not? So the answer to that is that it's definitely coming because uh, Kodak has seen that there are a lot of gamers. It's, it's not just that one or two users are facing these issues, crashing issues or loading issues. There are a bunch of users who are facing crashing black screen and lot many issues with this game so an updated patch from Kodak you can see in the middle of December that's the updated date for the update to come till then we have to be patient now these crashing issue is just not restricted to Kodak's version it is applied to the repack version also the people who are using the Fitgal repack version are facing the same issues so updated patch from Kodak is what we want and we will get it but it will take some time for that updated patch to release. So hopefully you liked today's video and hopefully I was able to cover a lot of your issues and fixes. If some new issues pop up, do comment below and I will be there to help you to give you the fixes that will help you run the game like a charm. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share this video because it's your share, it's your subscribe that is driving this channel forward. And our next target is 5,000 subscribers. So hopefully you will help this channel to achieve that target, that milestone ASAP. So keep supporting, keep liking and always keep gaming.